Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Weasel and we're playing Knights of Pen and Paper plus one and I'm going in totally blind so uh, Let's do this new game And yes, let's overwrite that one just started it and wait come on. Yes, alright that there we go So basically the idea of the game is as far as I could tell from the Steam store page um, Which is all I read about the game uh, That uh, we are playing a pen and paper game in a game and from the screenshots I gathered, the surroundings will change according to that. So um, we will basically sit down like in a real pen and paper RPG and play this with our game master. And um, I guess the surroundings will change because our imagination, imagination is going wild. Um, anyway, let's uh, choose chairs to add at least two players. Well, um, I think I'm gonna start and I'm gonna create some... Um Players, okay, apparently I can create a new player. Um, oh, this is great. Hipster, flowers, grandma, warrior. Okay, so I can select uh, apparently a um, guy and what class he will play. So, Mr. John, definitely Mr. John is gonna play with us and he's gonna be a warrior because in real life he apparently is a guy that works at a bank, something like this. Uh, so what does this all mean? Okay, apparently those are uh, 10 extra experience points gained. Uh, Cleave, these are his spells and these are his, uh, well, uh, values. Attack, health, magic, threat, initiative, critical. To be completely honest with you, I have never really played a pen RPG. I always wanted, but I knew nobody that would play it with me. Seriously, I have so little nerd friends, it's... I'm actually a little bit ashamed right now. That's why I get this game, so I can play it now, alone. <laughs> anyway, uh, Mr. John is gonna be a warrior and let's add that one. Yes, Mr. John. The statistics say that now you'll have... What What, what did he say? I, I, it was too fast for me. He was too fast. Anyway, okay, that's him. Oh, he got an inventory, that's good. A potion, probably mana. Yes, a lesser mana, potion, leather armor, wooden sword. Okay, cool, 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 I like that. Um, that looks good. So let's add another player, um, a nerd, of course, nerd, and he's gonna be a mage. That that, that seems so fittingly. Um, always ready, passive, plus 50 discount when resurrecting this player after death, and all his cool spells. I'm gonna figure that out while we're playing. I'm gonna add this one. I want a big, big, big group. I would say Bazinga. Damn it, he's too fast for me. What? What is going on? Oh, let me guess. Um, that was my cat. My cat is weird. Um, let us add the rocker. Who's totally gonna be a rogue? Yeah, like that. Oh, that. Oh, that costs money to add a new one. One to the party. I see, and I only got five coins. And there's the shop. As I said, there we can get snacks and stuff. Cool, 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 cool. So we start off with two players. Um, we have Mr. John the Warrior and the Nerd as a mage. Okay, so, so is everyone ready? All character sheets are set up. Yes, they are. They are. Yes, let's rock on. Rock on? Come on. Is your character from the future? Oh, great. They interact with each other. Great. Yeah, that's right. Extra experience points will be awarded to those who are role-playing. Okay. Before we start, you should know that you can set the difficulty of this game by increasing decreasing the amount of monsters you fight. So the adventure begins now. As you wake up, you can hear the cold whispering of the wind. You can't remember anything that happened before. Sounds like amnesia. Um, yeah. The surrounding changes according to what we do. This is this is great. I love it already. Okay. All you know is that you're a group of friends locked up in the tower prison for no reason at all, and everyone's calling you assassins. While searching for a way out, you notice that the prison bars have been broken by some kind of magic. Let's go out of this place. As you leave the cell, you face some guards that are clearly unhappy to see you there. Guard number one. Hey, you're supposed to be inside the cell, not inside it. You don't want to get hurt, do you? Get back to your cell already. Ha, you'll regret that. I'm not returning to the cage for no good reason. Guard number three, get back. So, oh, okay, I clicked them now. Leave the prison. Tip, you don't need to kill all of them at once. You may battle as many monsters as you like at a time until you reach the objective. Prison break, kill two guard in one or more battles to complete a quest. Okay, battle. So, this is one guard. Um, what, Ed, Ed? Oh, what, oh. Click on a monster to remove it. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, I can add the uh, mount. Okay, one monster. Let's fight one. 
Yeah, I don't think you can handle more than this. Okay, so, yeah, simple attack. And Shimper spell attack. There we go. Just making sure. Okay, so this is round-based combat, of course. Our party rocks. We fought a guard. Um, okay, we can sleep, apparently. We can look into the inventory settings. Okay, we know those settings. And we can continue fighting. So let's... Give me more guards. Um, yeah, not not that many. Um, cancel. Come on. Add a guard. I only need to fight one more, so I'll do that. Just... No, we're not gonna try something out. I'll look at his health. I don't like that. Oh, my box is out. My, my... Ah. There we go. 50 XP for party. Okay, and one gold coin. Sweet. Okay, we gained some experience, so that's good. So... Guard number three. I thought there were only two. Sound alarm. We have a situation on the second floor. Uh oh, the alarm. I think we should sneak past the next guards. Roll dice. Nice roll. You sneak past the other guards while everyone is too busy looking for you. As you reach the first level of the tower, a strange man covered in a dark cloak is waiting for you on his horse drawn wagon. Interesting. Strange guy. We shall leave this place for now. Hurry up. I don't know who you are, but we will have to trust you for now. The strange guy rode with you to default village where your adventure is just about to begin. Sweet. Quest done. Hmm. Pro tip, you may choose whichever quest you'd like, but the main quests will be marked with stars. Okay. And we leveled up. Sweet. Can we do something with that? Apparently one point. Um, so I can put one point in those, I guess. No. One point. Okay, how does this work? Um... Oh, okay, I can't... Ah, now I can choose their skills and level that up. So, Cleave, a wild swing with four, minus 40% power and hits three foes. Mm, sounds good. It's now like Rock and raises your HP by 10 for three turns. I'll go with Cleave. Um, what about Strike? No, we can scream. No, no, Cleave. There we go. But what about you, dude? Um, fireball, Deep Freeze, Stream. And Meteor. Hmm. A huge meteor that falls from the sky, dealing 4 to 6 magical damage on every foe in battle. And this one damage... one. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I think I go with the fireball. Standard stuff, right? Good. So what's 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 now happening? What's what's the plan now? Um, I can check out the shop. Well, I don't need to, actually. It's so cool, basically. Can fight 7 monsters in battle. Permanent effect. Plus one to all skills, permanent effect. Great, great, great. Snooker table, plus five percent lifesteal, permanent effect. Oh my god, okay. Uh, with stuff we get in the game, we can buy um, all those um, other characters. Dr. K Dr. Scientist, Dungeon, Karate Rat, and Yoga. Oh my god, all those cool things we can buy with our coins. Anyway, we're just gonna, um, I think, Look on the map. Okay, default village. The tavern is the only thing that matters. Level one. Um, travel? New. No. Oh, we can travel somewhere else, I see. Um, the Sunset Castle. A place for kings, queens, and princesses. Level seven. No, we're not there yet. So, what is this? Oh, this is the shop. Perfect. We can buy stuff. I don't need anything right now, I guess. Bronze metal. Mm -hmm -hmm. Interesting. I don't want to buy anything right now. I just want to figure out more things. Hmm. Hmm. We could sleep for a night in the inn. I mean, why not? Didn't do anything for us. I think we'll just travel somewhere. The Den of the Devil. Act 1, Quest 1. Level 4. Level 6. Level 15. Uh, I think I'll think I'll go to the Den of the Devil. Let's check that out. 13. What, what, what did that mean? Um... Damn it, I've never played those games before, so upon your arrival. What is this? You found a grindstone, take it to the blacksmith. Sweet. And you found a grindstone, take it to the blacksmith. I'll I'll do that, I'll do that. We could we could camp here. Or can we can we go back there? No. Apparently there's nothing around. Okay, that's fine with me. Create a new player. Oh, I can add a new player for five coins. You know what? Let's do that. Um, and we're gonna add the rocker, and he's gonna be the rogue. I think that's so cool. Damn it, he costs 10. Why? Because he's the rocker? Or what? Oh, 
indeed. Well, what about the pizza guy? Pizza guy could be... Hmm. He looks cool as a paladin. Um, why the frig not, right? Ooh, 50% discount to buy this player. That's why. That's why. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna add the pizza player. There we go, the pizza guy as a new player. Did you guys order pizza? Never mind, I didn't get to read that. That is way too fast for me. Okay, so he's only level one, and we can have up to, up to five. Can I kick a player, by the way? I don't think so. Anyway, we got a pizza guy now, our oh, paladin. Great. So let's go. Let's travel back. Um, I don't. No, that's that's not good. Um. Oh, well, we could go to the Sunset Castle. Oh God, it costs so much gold. I still don't get what the dice roll in between the paths is. Any experienced uh, pen and paper RPG player might want to tell me that. Oh, there's quests. Of course, I can't create a quest now. I forgot about that. Okay, so choose. Slay, collect, escort. Well, I'm gonna collect some blood gemstones. Collect items dropped from monsters and gain 50% more gold. Okay. I need some items from the Den of Devil. Could you head over there and provide them for me. Sure, why not? We're kind of bored. I already collect. Yeah, let's travel there. Uh, we need to go here. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that costs money. Now it costs money, right? Or did it cost money before? I have no idea. What? You have something for me. Collect five blood gemstones on monster drops to complete a quest. Okay, uh, not right now. Let's just hit that one and see what is inside of it. A grindstone? Yes, a grindstone. I'll, I'll bring it there. You're definitely a comic book guy, aren't you? Okay. Let's battle some uh, monsters. We need to fi battle five. Oh, oh, cool! Look at this. Um, hmm. Elite. I, th I think I'll. I think I'll stay with the bat. Um, give me, give me some bats. Okay, that's maybe too a little bit too hard. Let's go with three of them and see how that turns out. Are you kidding? Well, I can see the possible problem here that might arise. They're, they might kill us, actually. I can see how that might become a problem in the future. Um, cleave. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I should have hit the middle. Never mind. Fireball. Let's get rid of that one. There we go. Ooh, he's not. He's not feeling well. Let's drink that potion. Okay, good. Take this little fella, the little free one. That's not good. Not good at all. Not good at all. Not good at all. Not good at all. What is that? A chicken? Oh no no no! Don't chicken out. Okay, you're gonna block now. Ah, uh, fireball. Okay, only this one left. Oh frig! Yeah, that, that one doesn't really like us, does he? Uh, block. Um. Well, I should have gotten some potions, but I didn't. I'm an idiot. There we go. That was close. Holy frig. Well, at least we got a lot of XP and blood gemstones. Level up. Okay, great. So, concussion blow. Deals 10% attack and disables your target for one turn. No, don't care. Double strike. Deals a double attack for minus 40% attacks on each stab. Hmm, poisons your weapon. Vanish in the shadow, reducing your threat and raises your critical in 5%. I think I'd go with Concussion Blow. But you can't add a new... What? You can add a new player. Activate the Holy Grail at the shop. What? Oh, I didn't want to... Oh, I didn't want to... I'm so confused. I didn't want to add that one. I'm an... Sorry. Why did I think that I had a rogue all of a sudden? Never mind. Light gives you strength. You gain extra 5 HP and extra 1 threat. Mm. A flash of heal that heals yourself for 10 HP is flash heal. Holy shield reduces 50% of damage and the leader strike. I think I'll go with flash shield. Healing is always helpful. So I think we're gonna sleep. There we go. Well, yeah. Wake up whenever we're done. Uh, it's already day 13. Holy moly. There we go. Good. Let's, let's go for the next two stupid bats. Dark bats. No, 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 they're too strong for me. Okay. There we go. Two bats. I think we can handle that. 
What is going on with you, rocker dude? No, pizza dude. He's the pizza dude, right? Let's just smack him up. Ah, uh, cleave. And you're gonna do... No, fuck flash here, we don't need that. Well, I'll like me a fireball. Okay. Come on, last hit, and there we go. Now we got the blood gems. 184 XP, all good. Only, ah, oh, only one, but I need, I need, I need, ah. Oh. I need another one to finish that quest. Holy moly, that's not cool. Deep freeze, fireball, the ball of fire that deals 9 to 11 damage. Yeah, we had that one. I think I'll go with the meteor. Let's upgrade that one. Perfect. Um, and you're gonna get. Mm. I'll make Cleave stronger. Why the frick not? Yeah. Oh, 5% attack damage only. Uh, no, 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 no. Well, we should, we could try that strike. That will make our enemy a little bit uh, weaker. And I think we're gonna have to battle another bat. But we are gonna to do, that, do that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye!